Faith biology is the one of the major unit under faith and its obligation to create better earth and sustainable growth for the future generation, right? So faith biology is a subunit under faith earth and is produced today various kind of rabbits, rabbit species on the earth, okay? And it is so colorful, we can enjoy the various kind of rabbits and the song from Fiatra. Let's enjoy and see. The first rabbit eats riverine. Riverine. Riverine is a rabbit. Its size is quite big and ear is much more long and tongue and a very strong figure is a very big rabbit in the deep forest you can see and you can get this rabbit then coming to the rabbit called the brush the brush rabbit is not the rabbit uh, very big and this uh, rabbit is coming in the deep forest as well and the various various kind of all over the around this guy rabbit you can get the brush rabbit is size is quite medium size normal size rabbit and it's uh, you know mostly eat leaves and mostly every rabbit leaves but re this rabbit is mostly it leaves and is a medium sized rabbit okay so brush and brush and brush rabbit and uh, I is brush and brush the brush is rabbit rabbit brush is rabbit this rabbit is uh, is look very small and very cute rabbits don't uh, is uh, face is also round its size is also round and quite little rabbit it is it is really little rabbit very little rabbit and you have to remember this rabbit is very soft rabbit okay it, it's a very rare kind of rabbits pygmy very small little like a mouse and that is it's called word like a pygmy word use here is also uh, very small so rabbit is very small and it's known as a pygmy rabbit pygmy pygmy this is a very common kind of rabbit okay and omeltemy cotton tail the uh, omeltemy cotton tail is the one in a specific feature of the pieces and in this cotton tail there is a various kind of cotton trails rabbit is there this, they are basically not uh, they, they they can they don't sit like a round any other position position they are like a normal kind of animal that is his cotton tail pieces okay is a is a normal size rabbits okay the most common rabbit size comes on the cotton tail uh, it is a omel timmy omel team omel team rabbits is uh, european countries and countries is mostly available in Asian, North Asian countries also you can get. Then coming to Nuttail. Nuttail cotton tail. The same as the cotton tails. You can see the figure figure structures is quite same. But difference is between the face. This Nuttail face is quite big comparative to the other cotton tails. Okay. Size is also big and its color always combination comes on the white and gray and uh, little bit other colors also is confound. The face defined is the tail, and face is quite big than other cartoon tails, and ears is not other. Ears is also a little bit different from the other cartoon tails. Rabbits. So right is called the tail, the tail, the tail, the nut and cotton tail, the cotton tail, the tail, the tail rabbits. The same. I again, the feature are same. The cotton tail, the mountain cotton tail, highly visible in the mountain areas like the North American mountain, South American as well as the Asian mountain parts also have a Himalayan mountain parts, Nepal mountain this is a, and again this you can if you uh, in this body structure is same right it's like a cotton tails all the rabbits are but again same the face is different its face not similar to look like other cotton tails it is not big not small the medium size face this cotton tail holding the mountain the mountain i want to raise a mountain with the cotton did the south american country the mexico as a, this is amazing cotton tail okay and this cotton tail is ear is much bigger than the face okay that is the difference between other cotton tail again the structures are quite similar because all this comes on the same groove but 
its ear is much more bigger than other cotton tails. The Mexican cotton tails is mainly known for its ear. Its face size and ear size are similar, and sometimes its ears are much more bigger than the face. This face is not very big than other cotton tails. Face is little, but ear is much more bigger. And obviously, is a Mexican cotton tail in the Mexico. The Mars cot rabbit, Mars rabbit is uh, also a rabbit. Its features is quite like it really is mouse, and that is called for mouse. This Mars come because it's a ma uh, rabbit uh, faces. So obviously, don't have any kind of tail like a mouse, but. The structures and the combination of the body's bones are quite similar to the mouse. And it is also a very little kind of rabbit. It's known as the Mars rabbit. It is also available in various parts of the uh, on the earth. Even in Africa, you can get this Mars. And North America and South America and many countries also you can get little, very, very little pieces also there. But in the deep forest, basically the small kind of mouse structures, rabbit, are rabbit and this exactly that like this Mars. Then another the very big, very big, it is not a normal, uh, very big, but different is that his is ear is very small ear, this rabbit, okay? And this rabbit is looking very big and quite dangerous because this is a very uh, dangerous rabbit, whose size is very big, like other, in a big cat or big animals, it's, it's called Amami, Amami rabbits. It's mostly in the, in the um, African countries, uh, very, you know, high temperatures, uh, parts of the on the earth is those forest deep forest and high temperature areas are mostly this rabbit is visible and very much very big rabbit I'm telling you very big rabbit okay and uh, dangerous also because it's not like other rabbits and eats so much much it it eats so much food and it can finish any land or any kind of you know uh, farming uh, places so this is a dangerous rabbit jack rabbits is uh, normal rabbits but the difference in other rabbits is this ears is much more bigger than any rabbit the jack rabbits ear are the bigger than any other rabbits its body's parts is similar to the ears just imagine so it can you know, sense any kind of sounds any kind of vibration any kind of you know, movement of any other animals very fast so it's very difficult to catch these rabbits because ears is very big, so sensible rabbits. So mostly these rabbits can jump and can run very fast because the sensation of ear is very fast, can detect any sense very fast, very big ear. Okay. Again, the rabbit is called the Bunero. Bunero rabbit is available in uh, American countries and also various kind of African and Asian places also. Is this rabbit's movement is very fast? Okay. It can observe anything, uh, its eyes, its eyes is quite big than other rabbit comparatively, and it can movement, move very fast. So its body structures, basically it's very really light, and ear structure, all structure, it helps its rabbit to fast bundro, bundro, okay, it's called bundro, rabbits run fast, run like a bun, it's called bundro, is a, you know, American rabbit, right? fastest the fastest mover the fastest runner nobody can catch this rabbit again the ears is much bigger and it is very difficult to catch this rabbit it is the fastest rabbit ever in the company with all other rabbits it's called a tati 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 rabbit it is in asian countries also you can find and american countries african countries and various part of very little bit in the in you know zoo also you can find this kind of rabbit is normally uh, this rabbit is not so much rare rabbit but it is a moving very fast type to rabbit and it is not just to move it has capacity to jump one area to other in very fast and very then again the coming to a cotton tail the cotton tail is main the character is their tail the tail is like a cotton, small cotton, and that is why they are called as a cotton tail. But this Eastern cotton tail is the most you see in the C Canadian part is the like in and mostly the you know the areas which covered by the highly winter sessions is a winter co winter co uh, rabbit is a winter session winter areas rabbit in any kind of hill areas is mostly visible, and Eastern cotton tailed rabbits is a not also big rabbit is a small rabbit. Uh, more normal movement, it's normal things. It's a normal size rabbits and the tail is a cotton tail. 
right so that's called most and the last and very amazing rabbit and it is mostly you know available in all the volcanic activities areas on the earth very little look like a mouse and similar to the mouse very little it is a very little even uh, smaller than mouse also it can happen it's a very little rabbit it's called the volcan rabbits mostly volcanic areas this rabbit is and very little and that is to jump and to move and it's not impacted by any kind of other surface is also very covered up very small and it do not take any big pace to sit somewhere and it is a very little i'm telling you very little very small like a, you know humming hummingbird you know like very little rabbit is a volcano rabbit 